back to the layout. Um, this will be the actual um, layout update number 10. Um, the last one was just a teaser. So you all know that I uh, painted up um, an LRC coach with the Canada 150 year wrap. Um, I think it turned out pretty good. Uh, there did have some issues with it and I'll get into that in a second. Um, so I got the decals from Highball Graphics. I'll put a link in the description um, if, if, if anyone hasn't heard of them. They make uh, quite a few uh, different decal sets and they're reasonably priced. So I took it all apart. I removed the grab irons. I removed the shell. Took the windows out which were luckily um, had a very uh, minor amount of glue on the inside and I taped off two of the windows and spray painted them silver to match the rest of the car. Um, to start I painted the uh, yellow via by masking it off um, and it turned out fairly good um, and then where I had issues is when I went to um, spray paint um, the silver on and the silver bled through a lot of the um, the masking tape and I'm, I'm not sure why uh, it just happened like that and it uh, wrecked a lot of the, the finish on it it's very uneven in places but uh, overall it, it still turned out okay um, some of the lines in the yellow aren't as crisp um, I had to completely uh, spray over the roof um, the prototype the roof isn't painted it's just the original uh, roof color but I had to paint right over it because the the lines bled and it left a weird thing I actually had to sand the paint the lines down and paint over it um, I also did not reinstall the the lighting inside I took it out for painting and uh, I decided it's just the flickering was just too annoying so I just opted not to put it back in and I, th I think it looks good I mean there I don't do much nighttime running on the layout and that's the only time realistically you'd see the lights is at night so um, that's the the whole board there with the rear marker lights so I mean I can always install it back in it's pretty easy it's two screws and then um, just soldering those two wires back onto the contacts. Um, for all my other LRC cars, I am going to cover the um, uh, electrical connections, uh, the contacts with tape, so they no longer work either. So uh, that'll be in another video. Um, I was able to take um, all my LRC cars and my um, newer Rapido engine and I was able to take them out to the Brantford Model Railway Club and they uh, they let me, um, well they ran them for me, uh, which was awesome of them, big thank you. And um, big thanks to Mike, he uh, helped me out with my the local here it had some issues that I was unaware of. Um, I was having some problems derailing on certain areas, and it was uh, determined that um, two of the uh, wheel sets were really out of gauge, and then there was some detail parts causing the um, the trucks to have very little um, play in them. So he was able to take it all apart. And fix it up for me put my wheels back engaged and it uh, functioned a lot better um, an interesting note if anyone has a weird rattle in their F40 it is because one of the speakers um, is not installed Rapido just taped them in place um, I have a picture of that
So I'm not quite sure why Rapido did that. Um, it seems kind of sloppy, I suppose this is the word you could use. Um, so we just uh, added some foam and retaped it down so at least it doesn't move around inside so much. So um, there'll be a video of the um, Brantford uh, visit. Um, I'll put the link in the description. It'll be posted right after this video. So if you're watching this video, it'll already be posted as well. And moving on to some newer stuff I've done. Um, I painted up this um, this beverage trailer here. Um, if you remember, it was originally a bluish, more purplish color. Um, so I spray painted it white and then spray painted the bottom black because it was also purple. And then I repainted on the, I guess you call them marker lights and taillights, brake lights. And then I added the Pepsi and Gatorade um, signage to it. Created just uh, made them on the computer, sized them to where I wanted, and voila, complete uh, trailer overhaul. Which I think it uh, looks way better now with the white truck. I mean, it's not prototypical. Um, I couldn't find Pepsi decals that I like, so I just went with painting the trailer white. But um, I think it looks good, and that's all that matters. Um, been like I mentioned in the other video, I was making some little um, signage for some of the trucks. So this one, I added that uh, uh, one right on the uh, the body of the truck there, and on the back, I added that one. This one on the other side too. And then the River Point Station one that was originally North Fork Southern. I got the uh, the uh, GEXR logo put on there. Um, probably made it a little too big, but it's, it still looks okay. Put one on the back as well. So I think that turned out uh, pretty good. There's one on the other side too. And uh, that's just paper uh, that I just, with a glue stick, just glued on there. Um, it's pretty thin paper. I mean, up close you can maybe see that it was paper, but most people aren't looking real close up at it. Another item I did, this one not as cool, but I added these this UPS um, logo on the uh, sides and front. It was originally a Santa Fe trailer that I got with a spine car, but uh, decided to change it up a bit. So I like the way that looks. I also did this um, no-name trailer. Um, this is something I created myself. It's, um, it's close as possible to the real one. Um, Again, it's just paper. I made the back for it too. The front there. Fortunately, this side's coming a little loose, so I'll have to re-glue that. But uh, turned out good. I'm just gonna weather the tires a bit in another video, so it's not all just black. Uh, this one here, I added the um, Hydro One logo to the arm there. Same with the other side. Um, haven't made much progress on the actual layout itself. I've just been mostly working on, um, obviously, so the vehicles and the LRC car. Um, the only thing I did is I added this uh, extension of the cork here, right where you can see the line, and just move the building around a little bit. 
just to give some additional area for parking of vehicles or putting some equipment. Well, everyone, that's all I really have for you for this video. Uh, now, this video is rather somewhat short, um, maybe a little long-winded, but uh, overall, I just I haven't done all that much. Um, and no Mark M&M rails. I have not done anything with the KFC spinning bucket. Um, I apologize for not keeping my promise to try and work on it. Um, I'll see what I can do for the next one. No promises, though. Thanks for watching everyone, have a good one, and don't forget to check out the, um, the Brantford Club visit video, if you're interested of course. Thanks for watching, and always comment and subscribe.